job. Critics of New York City's stop and frisk law claim that minorities are stopped more often than they should. On his Friday radio show, uh, Mayor Bloomberg responded with a hate fact that whites are being stopped more than they should. Listen up, listen uppers. One newspaper and one news service, they just keep saying, oh, it's a disproportionate percentage of a particular ethnic group. That may be, but it's not a disproportionate percentage of those who witnesses and victims describe as committing the murder. In that case, incidentally, I think we disproportionately stop whites too much and minorities too little. Well, it's exactly I, the reverse of what they say. They are, I, I don't know where they went to school, but they certainly didn't take a math course. Mm, burn. Mm -hmm. So critics are now saying that that comment is racially charged. Racially charged is the new way of saying a thing is not quite racist, but could, keep, could be construed as racist. It allows you to avoid addressing the statement's truthfulness, which according to City Hall statistics, Bloomberg did pass. Whites were involved in 9% of police stops in 2012, but were pegged as 7% of murder suspects. Now, believe me, there's nothing I like less than defending Bloomy. This is the guy who once linked a terror attack to people protesting Obamacare. But I'm wary of the gotcha nature of discourse that turns all debates into a minefield. If someone tells an off-color joke, if they tweet something out of anger, if they state a sobering fact that you may not like, we are now all experts at divining what's in people's hearts. One critic called Bloomy's words hurtful. I don't know. Bullets, they're hurtful. Knives are hurtful. Fists are hurtful. But words? We need to remind ourselves the virtues of imperviousness. Thick skins build sound minds and strong bodies. And crime is down all over town, so sticks and stones may break your bones, but words, you can handle that. Mm -hmm. And if you listen to them more before you hit the outrage button, you might learn something. Bob, uh, Bloomberg, did he say the wrong thing even though he stated the right fact? His fact yeah, it, backed him up, but he, it was insensitive. I, I don't think the way he said it was exactly the way I would have recommended that he say it, but let me make another point here. If you look, there's 44,000 police officers in this city. The overwhelming majority of them are stationed in white and suburban neighborhoods. They are not as many in black neighborhoods. Where are you getting this? Oh, oh, look at Times Come Square. No, look, at Times Square. Oh, look at Times Square. Look at Times Square. There are shy. more cops in white neighborhoods here than there are in black neighborhoods. And that means it's not surprising to me that whites get stopped and frisked Bob, more than blacks. Bob, but I just want to ask you something. Where are you getting that statistic? That Walking through Times Square. Oh, I yeah. love Bob. I love okay. your science. Perfect. Bob, Bob, you got to do Bob's science book. That's the Institute strike you go, again. You find out how many cops are in black neighborhoods and how many are in white. Are you, but are you, are you, maybe you're, maybe you're talking uh, by overwhel overwhelming numbers as opposed to the proportionality, which is not mathematically. That's correct. maybe right. Okay. <laughs> Eric, uh, what happens <laughs> when stop and frisk makes those neighborhoods safer? Uh, minority ma neighborhoods are safer. Is it still bad because it's considered profiling? I, uh, it's definitely considered profiling. Um, as a lot of things are considered profiling, and as profiling has proven to be a, a great crime effective. deterrent. Effective. Effective, great crime deterrence. Here's the question. What are they, what are they catching? Mm. What are they stopping? Are they stopping, you know, I think they're seizing guns. Pot, or, I think they're seizing weapons. Are they, though? I mean, because if, if they are, then, then I guess all, you should be happy with that type of profiling. Really? If you're pulling handguns off the street, that illegal yeah. handguns guns off the street, then you got to be yeah, okay with it. Yeah, they're not taking them off the, the, uh, the gun. I have no idea what they're pulling on the street because I haven't got the proportionality of it yet. Well, you had the other stat. I thought the, maybe you the had bad that thing one. about Bob is he's secretly <laughs> hoping to be stopped in frisks. I already no, haven't stopped. That's why he keeps walking through Times Square. <laughs> yes, yeah, he's, he's always, up and down, anything up and down free. Broadway. Act, and he's always acting That's suspicious. because I used to do that all the time, and I, <laughs> so I wanted to go back to my old roots. I want to ask uh, Kimberly because you're the legal mind here. Are there lawsuits trying to stop the stop and frisk thing, which is basically, you know? frisking people they believe to be a suspect. Yeah. What's going to happen? I'm very concerned as a matter of public safety because this is one of the most effective weapons that law enforcement have in their arsenal. I mean, if you're interested in crime going up, then continue to try and mess with the police department that are trying to do their job, keep the uh, streets safe, so that bad, you know, crimes don't happen. Right now, what they're doing in New York, you know, is working. So we should continue to do those programs that have proven to be beneficial and not try and, like, strap the police, you know, hands together. It, it, am I a hypocrite here? Maybe. Am I being a hypocrite? Yes. I might be, right? Yes. Be. No, no, because <laughs> if, if I'm okay with stop and frisk without probable cause, right, you don't need probable cause, right? Uh, right? That's the contention. You have... If you don't need you can problem stop cause, anybody in Frisco for anything. Suspicious activity, criminal activity is afoot. I gotta say something. I may be completely hypocritical because that 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 violates the Fourth Amendment <laughs> right there. 
Am there I, you go. Right? Where's You're your right. constitution? Good. There, there is a problem. There is a conflict with these beliefs, and I think people are figuring that out. Last word to you, Dana. I was just going to say, that I thought it was refreshing comments from him, but, and he's in a position to be able to do that. I hope he continues to. Unfortunately, when you say that's racist or that's offensive, then we stop having a conversation and nobody actually gets to the root problem, which is how to really actually fix our urban areas, which are dealing with a lot of crime. That's racist. Charged. Can we just Ban point it. out, you're saying stop and frisk is constitutional? Is if constitutional. it is, I'm all for it. Let's put it that way. All right. All right. One thing we also it. learned is uh, recording Bloomberg on a radio station is not exactly the most aesthetically no. pleasing thing. It's all called right. radio for a reason. Mm, that is true. Well, oh, that was a bit snobby wow, on Dana's me. part. Not everybody can be so adorable. No, all I right. just mean if he's going to do that, he should get like makeup and production and light oh. and stuff. All right, then. Like we do. <laughs> to not scare the people. I had a facelift. All right.